Good afternoon. It is uh, Monday, June 28th, 2021. It's uh, good to go away for a couple weeks, but it's also good to, uh, to come back um, and to get back home to uh, comfortable and, and familiar surroundings. So this week in my devotions, I'm going to be focusing on um, some saints and some folks that have been important in the life of the church for some different reasons. Um, and today I'm going to focus on Irenaeus. Um, Irenaeus died around 202 um, and was an important person in the life of the early church um, because he really emphasized scripture. Um, and wanted the church to be about focusing on Scripture and what did Scripture have to say. Um, and so he was also important because he was the first one to use the word Catholic. Catholic in the sense of universal. Catholic in the sense of churches, local congregations, are connected to each other in the church Catholic because we're connected by a common faith, a common scripture, a common sense of, of who we are as followers of Jesus. And he even went so far as to say um, the Catholic um, def was not defined by national boundaries because you know very often, and, and this actually lived on in the life of the church for, for centuries, unfortunately, was that you know we saw the church as, uh, with specific national boundaries. But Irenaeus, way back then in, t in, 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 the, in the second century, was saying, no, there's not national boundaries. We are members of the universal church. The local congregation is connected to another local congregation, and we're connected by that common faith and that common scripture, um, which, we, which he emphasized, um, and which what we would say, um, as followers of Jesus, is important as well. Um, that we hold on to what scripture says to us as our guide and our norm, and it directs and guides our faith. And so I lift up to you Irenaeus um, and uh, his life and his contribution um, that I would say that still in some ways we're, we're trying to live into, into understanding um, what it means. So let's pray. Gracious God, we do give you thanks for the church universal for the connectedness that we have as followers of of your son and our savior jesus christ we are connected through a faith and through baptism and through scripture and through your word and we are connected by you in this great big family um, we call the church bless us to live into what it means to be connected to each other to be a part of the church universal and to be your people in this world and in the communities in which we find ourselves it is in your son's name we pray. Amen. God bless. See you tomorrow.